Greetings, mortals and minions. Welcome back to another round of ass kicking. Me getting my ass kicked, that is. Or they're getting their ass kicked. It's usually the latter, but let's let's find out. So Glacial Ravine. We're on a three or a three B, a three B three. Um me and shout out to my boy Powder Jeans. Met him on Reddit. No, I didn't meet him on Reddit. I met him through a friend I met on Reddit. Um, pretty cool dude. I just kind of joined in and he was in the game. And I was like, okay, sweet, let's play. Um, me, Powder Jeans, and some other dude. I missed it. Versus two guys. I know uh, two guys, real specific. But one of them is Donated Alien. And if you don't know, Donated Alien is another OG player, one of the earlier guys, one of the dudes from way, way back. So moral of the story is he's decent. He's a decent player. So that's why I was like, okay, let's, let's see what it out. Vans missed and then electrical. Those are the other guys we're playing. So the matchup is all, we're all UNSC. I'm Forge, Forge, Anders, Cutter versus Brute, Arbiter, and Forge, and yeah, this is a, I was kind of skeptical about this matchup, to be honest with you. Usually, you want to have at least one, um, at least one Covenant on your team. Pretty, pretty basic knowledge for a 3v3. You want to have, you know, access to all the units, especially on this map. Where my my mindset going into it was, well, I always get destroyed by scarabs on this map and air units. I always get destroyed by scarabs and air units because if you don't know, in the center of this map there's a giant mountain range that you can walk the scarabs up. And if you've got scarabs with a bunch of engineers, you can just sit on the rocks and you can melt a base down and it's you can't shoot them with the tanks it's, it's really difficult to do so that's what i was concerned about this game so um yeah that's what i was trying to counter as well as banshees so my build right here i'm going quick tech into um wolverines because i feel that we need wolverines we will need desperately somebody to be anti-airing. Um, especially if you got two Banshees, or two players using Banshees, and then Vampires as well. You're just gonna need them. It's no other way around it, really. Um, my Cutter, the yellow guy, he went and pushed up to take the... take the center um, little... these guys here, the uh, energy walls. Which was okay. All units. I think that was an okay move, honestly. Enemy engagement. Only because it keeps them out. It doesn't allow them to rush over here. Because they do have a All brute units. and an arbiter. So, yeah, that's... All units. That's a recipe for disaster right there. If they pound town on one, one person's base. Uh, yeah, so... That was a good idea, actually. I, I usually don't do that. Whenever, see, there he is. Whenever um, I'm going like UNSC, I don't really do the whole walls thing because I feel like they're just gonna be shot down anyways. You know, all you need is to just get one tank and then have him sit there and then boom, the walls are down. But we'll find out what happens, you'll see. It's a pretty interesting match. It's a long one too. Grab that popcorn, sit down, and take a load off. Enjoy. Um, yeah, so my bud's going. Powdered Jeans is going for hogs, which was, uh, I was all right. Hogs are good. You know, hogs are always a decent option. I'm sending the Sentinel to scout out what donated alien is doing donated is the purple uh, covenant so 
So he's slowly chugging his way over there, tugboating his way through the hills to find out what the hell he's doing. Because he's the one I'm the most worried about, as I know he's somewhat decent at the game. And I don't really know about the other two. So I've got Tech 3 now. And I am going to scout. That's why I did this. That's why he let the gates down. And now I'm going to start making Wolverines. And there's the Arbiter there. And I see he has Jackal. So he's trying to clear out the... Um, what are they called? The energy barriers. He's going to come up here and attempt to take that over. And there is he has a summon as well. So I know he's definitely going to be either A, building engineers or banshees. Probably banshees. Because when don't you build banshees when you're covenant? They're like probably one of the best units in the game. And I saw that he... He got the luckiest mech. He got every Local single units. jackal with that. Local units. Which I was like, wow, this was a pretty good shot, actually. <clears throat> I was surprised he saved that. Pretty clutch there. And then green comes over to help put some pressure on. You want to be careful there if you get units too close to that um, light bridge. Because the arbiter at that point, he can actually rage through the wall. Like, if you go into rage mode, he'll just go through the wall. And you want to kind of stay back from that. It's just something to... Not not really trying to nitpick, but that's just something to, to know. I guess a nice little factoid for the day. And I think Wolverines are decent at taking out bases. They're kind of slow at killing the infantry, but... Uh, other than that, they're, they're decent. And I can see this. I didn't know that those Sentinels um, stunned infantry. I just, I just kind of learned that when I saw that, because you never really see people build infantry, that is. And luckily I had some Wolverines out, because I, I figured that these guys were going to be spamming... Um, spamming air this game. And I really actually like those um, units. Look at that animation that those Marines have. They, like, shake their head in, like, agony from the stun. And I'm just kind of moving my units all over. I'm gonna shoot down these guys. They surprisingly take a lot of damage. They can take plenty of hits from those Wolverines and be okay. And we've saved the day. And now a word from our sponsor, uh, dihydrogen monoxide. Um, usually available at most convenience stores and or grocery stores. A uh, good way to hydrate yourself. Local units. Um, I'm actually a sufferer of uh, chronic dehydration. Uh, my last commentary I was doing on a 1v1 on Barons with Jones Fish. Um, my voice became very hoarse. And I was, out of words, coughing. For there was no lubrication in my windpipe. So, luckily, I uh, purchased a canister of dihydrogen monoxide today. Um, smart smart water, in layman's terms. And yeah, I'll be using this uh, throughout this episode here to uh, maintain hydration and energy levels. So, uh, go ahead and pick up some dihydrogen monoxide today. Alright. Anyways, now the forge just carpet bombed me, and I'm getting my expo blocked there. But it's it's okay because I prepared for this, so I'm going to place my wolverines around there to protect them. And that arbiter is doing surprisingly amount of good amount of damage to that pad there. Um, I think, what else is going on? Yep, so green, yellow is just expanded. And green is still on one base right now. I'm expanding at the moment. And I'm just pumping Wolverines out slowly. And that character is taking a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, surely don't play. You don't mess around. If you see him on the, 
on the field, you just, I don't know. You just gotta watch out. Especially if you have somebody good running around, they can slice up a bunch of guys. Um, especially if you, well, we have three disruption bombs, so it's, it's not too bad, but yeah, you, you definitely wanna be careful. If you've got a good arbiter, they'll just, they'll just wreck everything. Um, so, what I'm doing now is maybe a little unconventional, but I'm actually going air. I am, instead of going tanks, I'm going to be going for hornets. Uh, shout out to the grade, the great metalloid monkey. When in doubt, just go hornets. Yep. Especially, I think this map, they do very well on. Because that bottleneck in the middle, it's so hard to get anything through there, i.e. tanks or wolverines, that being able to fly over the sides like this at ease, kind of like how those banshees are doing right there, is a welcome, welcome bonus, I'd say. Um, I, I never really made, I never really build air as UNSC unless I am, uh, Anders because of the Hawks that is but this game I felt that they would they could really help us out if I just massed air um, air and Wolverines that's what I'm gonna try to pull off this game and you can see it is a it is a long one like I've said we've we're only 10 minutes in folks so yeah I'm just gonna start single pumping them the Arbiter is going to chicken rage me down, so I am going to just abandon this area over here. Because I can't fight that with Wolverines. No, sorry, nor do I want to. He's scary. So I'm going to run away. And Gastrius, I think that was his name. Gastrius is going to cower behind the turrets. No shame in that. No shame at all. And I'm going to push out and clear this expo for powdered jeans. Because he def he destin definitely needs one so rather sooner than later because he can't just stay on one base this whole game or we will lose. We will definitely lose. And yeah, look how much damage they do. They shredded that turret. And I'm going to move this Wolverine out of the way. Try to keep all my units alive so I can heal them later, rather than build another one. And I accidentally let him get too close there. I'm gonna get that guy out of the way. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep building Hornets. They haven't put on any aggression yet. And yeah, those Rebels are really strong. Those three-star Rebels with their rockets. I think Wolverines have a decent amount of armor in that case. So I see some Banshees. I can't remember what I do here. I think I go and help. Maybe. I don't think I do, actually. But I'm just going to get Hornets, because Hornets Hornets can fight Banshees. I'd say boost Banshees. You should be fine against. But if they get sacrificed, it's a little bit tougher to fight, fight with just regular Hornets. And you can see there, he's got... His tank's coming up. Now, this is another reason why I wanted the Hornets, because, you know, Hornets do do good damage against tanks, too. Because tanks can only shoot them with the little machine guns they've got. Okay, it was a good Mac. Took out one of them. And I'm going to move those Wolverines back all at the same time. Try to shred these guys down. And I don't think he, was, he realized what was going on, because he did not see that, and... Uh, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. But then I notice there's some um, vampires coming in and that's not good. So I'm getting out of there. Chieftain's in there too. Chieftain, uh, yeah, Chieftain also, I've said this before, but definitely one of my favorite leaders. I just think he's really fun to play. Um, and on this map too, I think it's Chieftain can be really good because um, in the in the center there, the bridges, or not the bridges, the beams, the light beams there, 
you can use the stun ability, you know, the one where you, you fling them into the air and bring them close to you. You can use that to kind of bring things over the wall into like your kill zone. And that's uh, another really fun thing to do. Throw tanks into your army of hunters or banshees or something like that. So I'm uh, constructing a sentinel here to go on the offensive. And I'm going to bring my, um, I think I brought my wolverines over there. But green is getting his army up. And we are getting teched up. So I'm almost at full population. This happens. And I try to split here to save some of them. And it does, it works. Uh, we get the D-bomb off and then he, he ends up leaving. Yellow really liked to use that, that flare button this game. Really wanted us to know what was going on at all moments. Local units. Which is a very uh, cooperative thing of him, so I'm uh, very, units. very glad for that. And you can see, I don't know if you saw that, he's got ODSTs. ODSTs are phenomenal on this map. They are, they are just so good. Definitely one of the best units you can use on this map because you can just fly over there and drop down ODSTs. You can just spawn them wherever you want. And that Arbiter is going to get out of there because he can't even deal with them. Oh, so what do I do here? I think I have... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a Cyclops with Repair Kit to keep my... Um, keep my Wolverines kind of healed up without having to spend money on um, the healing thing. And the Sentinel Army flies in. But he was not expecting this, or maybe he was. He had built, he built those before. I don't know what that was about, the D-bomb. Maybe, maybe to avoid a cryo-bomb. I think that's, that's what it was. So I'm going to fight this with my Hornets too, because Hornets will definitely help out here. And I don't think they can get stunned by those Super Sentinels. And they're just, they just overall, they don't do that much damage per second, all these flying sentinel units. They're cool though, like I love the little stunning things, the stun effect. It can be really helpful if you're fighting um, big armies of tanks, or wolverines for that matter. And the Brute has a decent army comp. That's usually a good army composition, mixture of vampires and hunters. It's always uh, not very good to see. Um, but hunters, I feel, man, it's it's a tricky situation talking about hunters. Like, they're good. I think they're good. But only, again, situational. Like, right here in this channel, like, see how they're, like, all bottlenecked up here? Like, yeah, hunters are great right here because you don't have to, like, chase anything down. They have to come through that passageway. They have to walk through there to try and, you know, do damage. Or, I'm sorry, we have to try to push through there. And if hunters are in our way, yeah, we're definitely going to take a lot of damage. But if you just go where the hunters aren't, the hunters are so slow that it's just so hard to keep up with them. And now that the fact that we've got ODSTs, ODSTs will beat hunters and vampires. So that just kind of negates the whole thing. For one, they're strong against air. And secondly, you know, you can just keep putting them down and just RPGing the hunters. Um, very, very lucky we had the cutter on our team. This guy especially, he, he, he was decent and he did well with cutter. I'm, I'm happy he played. Um, green is on power turn. Now Annie's got a third base. So things are looking up. I'm on full population. And I'm just kind of waiting for the right moment to go in there. Like, because if I go in there right now, I'm just going to get stasis bombed. And I don't want to get all of my vampire or hornets stuck in my slice there. I love that. I love when that happens. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of patience, too. You want to make sure that you don't attack at the wrong moment. Like, right now, if I just... 
bottom of the barrel, bum rushed him, balls deep, went in there. I would definitely get wrecked. I would get stasis from blue because, you know, he has vampires. And it's kind of hard for me to get my wolverines in range of that unless he drops the wall. And if he drops the wall, blue's tanks will just come in. He, he upgraded to grizzlies, by the way, which was another... Um, I, I'd say that was kind of a blunder on their half. If you haven't seen my video, I, I compare the two. It's a pretty well-known thing in Halo Wars, but check out my Halo Wars glitches and tips overview. I talk extensively about the difference between power turret and grizzly tank. I don't know about extensively, but I show them. And moral of the story, they don't beat power turret tanks, the upgrade before them. So there's really no point in upgrading to those tanks, that, that super unit unit. Uh, there's, yeah, really no no reason to do that. Um, so they, they still did it, but yeah. Now I'm getting, I'm basically just hitting my field armory up now that I've got all of my stuff. I like to do that last after I've got my full army of everything. And we've got a pretty good defense coming up here. I thought this game was, well, it did take a long time, but I thought it was gonna take a lot longer just cause of, it felt like we were at a stalemate for so long. And I feel like this map is built for those. And I'm gonna try to get a few shots off before this Cobra locks down. And I luckily get out of there. But yeah, I'm thinking about uploading a few more 1v1 videos. I've been playing a lot of 1v1s. Um, I, I'm not very good. I'm I'm all right. Like I played one guy. I can't remember his name. Um, I played a few games with him, and he was a really good player, actually. I think I won. We played all the 1v1 maps, and I won on one of them out of the like six or seven that there are um yeah a lot of people are just super super good at this game it always surprises me when i find um players that are really just like they they know so much about like how the game works when to be where what you should do it's just uh it's kind of cool even though you lose you, you learn something and i still have fun playing it so i think i'm going to upload some of those games if i can find them um but yeah, I'm going to just start, I think, playing a little bit more 1v1s. I think that they are a lot of fun. And now I'm trying to push in here, because I don't see the anti-air, so I'm going to try to come in and maybe pick out something if I can. But there's a D-bomb there, and I'm rolling back. And I want to get me some vampires. I want to hijack some, so I'm not putting my Spartans in anything right now. I'm going to see if I can try to snag a few of those, because I really like vampires. We need those, especially because, you know, they'll fight their vampires. But for now, we're just sitting pretty and creating our Cobra line as they do the same. My boy Powdered Jeans has a lot of Goss Hogs too. Turret complete. Turret complete. But I don't know this late in the game if they're going to be any use. He even um, donated alien has some um, vampires so it's just not gonna be a good time really if I try to push in there at all um, and yeah I decided against that uh, carpet bomb there so I figured they would just heal up with the engineers anyway so it wasn't it was a waste of time and then boom look at that they got a big old bug. Just what I was afraid of. Just what I was predicting. Because, you know, who you everybody builds scarabs on this map. They always do. Just because you can shoot the bases. And do this right here. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah. We're going to try our very best to valiantly defend against this. And they're trying to push in on us right now. Green is all uniting into the uh, middle here. And 
he's just kind of he's really just going he's just going in right now like he has no fear he just kind of drops in and he's like let's go get him now me on the other hand i'm like are you guys crazy i'm like okay i guess i'll help you out so i'm gonna drop the, drop the og carpet here get one i think two kills they cry out it and macked it and now i'm gonna come in with my hornets here out of nowhere just at the perfect timing to finish this guy off and i'm sending my spartans up now i'm gonna try to hijack that one there this is the meat of the battle right now the shit's hitting the fan so i'm gonna just keep pumping units at the same time try and keep my numbers up and one of my spartans hops on that boy And that chieftain's putting in some work too. But we're kind of thinning out. And my Spartans are trying to hijack already jacked vehicles. They're just trying to jack each other around. And I, yeah, I need to definitely need another air pad there. Yeah, I'm going to just try to rebuild. So yeah, Yellow decides to push the charge up there, drop some ODSTs back there, which is always a good, always a good time when you get ODSTs in the back of your base, because it just never ends. You think that you stop it, you'll drop a D-bomb, but they'll just keep dropping one more. Every time that you, you know, you take them all out, they'll just keep dropping one and one and one until you walk away, and then it just starts up again. And Donated Alien has some jackals out here. I don't think he should have thrown them in there like this. Uh, but he was raging, so he, he couldn't really micro them, I guess. Because I just decided to target them, target them down. And try to help out my ODST guy. And um, at the same time, just keep pumping. Because we're on the, we're on the offensive now. Trying to take take the lead in this game here and I think I had my rally point set to the middle there so I'm gonna pull out of here um, not really too much I can do on my own but he's going to kill my vampire sadly uh, rest in peace I'm really torn up about that guy actually he was a good soldier and I'm gonna push the fight over here No, excuse me, I'm going to have a quick sip of my dihydrogen monoxide here. Refreshing. Very refreshing. Reserves. Research. All units. So it looks like it's going pretty well. Um, green just got onto Hawks to Powdered Jeans, just picked up Hawks, which was a great idea, in my opinion. I thought he was just going to build tanks, but this is definitely a Hawks map. Um, Hawks are just so good because they can dominate. And Van's missed over here. He was being really cheeky, and he was like, I don't even need a shield. And I'm like, let me show you why you need a shield on this map. Van's missed. You definitely want to have a shield if you're playing as Covenant. Um, it's just so too risky. This was his money base too. Like he had full blessed pads and everything, but no shields. And I see over there that green is getting attacked. But you're going to see that the UNSC leader powers are actually really good at... Um, kind of turning that down and stopping it as well as a I think that was a quad mac blast I 
think they I didn't look at it because I was busy over there um, but yeah they they took it out which was really really fortunate and now we're gonna keep the fight on over here blue is walking his hunters ever so slowly over there and we've got hawks coming in now as well as hornets and we're gonna aim down this base my wolverines are stuck right in that corner there and i can see that purple's coming in as well with his vampires so i'm gonna kind of just back off for a little bit but just keep fighting and drop the carpet bomb on it because i definitely want to drop this base down why you build shields especially in late game like early game i get it that's okay but once we get like once you get odsts in a quad mac like you definitely need a shield so you don't get like a drive-by shooting like this kind of happen and now i'm just going to shoot the hunters because nothing's protecting them just being where they're not just thinking like that will always make you make you a better player there's nothing that's shooting at you, so let's just, uh, take you out. And he's, he's incorporating some grunts into his army. I like that a lot, actually. Needler grunts. Because I think they do okay damage against hornets and air units. But again, they're just so slow, you can't really implement them. Unless you, say, push up on someone's base and just drop them all behind a base. That's the only time I can see them being really effective. Other than that, you can just outrun them like this. Now I'm over here, and so are his ODSTs. So I'm going to fly away now because I'm going to get uh, hit by vampires. And yeah, I'm just going to keep up this pump here. Arbiter's going ham over there on my Wolver jeans, but it's okay. We just rebuild them. And I got turrets up too. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm proud of my boy Yellow there. He, he kind of held the middle down really, really well. And now I'm setting up for kind of a sneaky move. I'm going to be really sneaky against Donated Alien. I'm going to fly over here while they're kind of distracted. And continue the fight on this front. Because no one else is over there. So I'm going to flare them, and I'm going to get my Wolverines here, because I know that Donated Alien has air, and my biggest thing is I don't want to fight against vampires. So I'm going to Pelican these guys across. 100 I 200 IQ play right here. No, not really. It's a pretty average play, to be honest with you. But I was still proud of it, damn it. So... Green is pushing in too, he's got hawks, and he's got a bunch of jackals too, and they just get shredded. Jackals are really, really weak, which is why you never really see them in 3v3s, because this happens to them. That was probably like eight jackals right there. And here we are. Very, very good ar army comp. And now we're just going to push in and just try to aim the space down. Uh, and the Arbiter is over here. There are the vamps. So I'm going to drop a D-bomb and at the same time send my um, send my Wolverines over to, over there to help fight those off. And there goes the quad mac. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's always so tough when you're playing Covenant and you're on the, on the walls here. And he, he's gone. He quit. Um, I usually like to put like maybe two or three shields on the side of my base, if I'm a Covenant. It really helps my, the longevity of the, uh, what's the word? The longevity of the base helps that out a lot. So you don't get just wrecked like that. And yeah, so donated, resigned. And now we're just gonna kind of mop this up, so. Yeah, guys, thanks again for, for watching the vid. I, uh, I've been really enjoying, I know I say this like every video, but I really enjoy making this stuff. Even though it's not that popular really, Halo Wars isn't like the Fortnite. 
per se. But yeah, it's kind of my childhood game and I always have fun playing it. And especially with, with a lot of friends too. So if you want to play, feel free to leave me a comment if you want to play, because I will definitely play you. If you want to play against me, I will definitely play you. I'm not saying that I'll beat you, but I will definitely try. I'm always up for a challenge. Or if you want to just play like, play a game like 3v3s or 2v2s, I really, it doesn't matter too much to me. I'd love to play some more um, of the other game types too, like Deathmatch and Reinforcement. Reinforcement's kind of a shit show in my opinion because it's just luck, but Deathmatch is pretty fun too. And um, yeah, so yeah, leave me a comment with your, with your gamer tag if you want to play sometime, or just add me on Xbox, it's the Turnip Seed. And yeah, if I've got some spare time, I'd, I'd love to play with you guys. And um, yeah, it's uh, always always fun. But uh, Blue is holding up valiant, valiantly here. This uh, video is coming to a close here pretty soon. So yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the commentary run out. I'm probably gonna dip out here and you guys can just enjoy the rest of the video. So, thanks again for watching, and give it a thumbs up and a sub if you liked it. I'm your boy Turnip. See y'all later. Peace. victorious.